at the time of making this video, Bitcoin has just gone over the $23,000. Never ever has it been in this territory before. So what's next for Bitcoin? Um, well, a, a great site that I like to use is uh, BitScreener, okay? BitScreener.com. Check that site out. You get lots of news feeds and lots of updates what's going on. But we're, we're Bitcoin. Let's have a look at the chart of Bitcoin. Now, we're currently trading where we've never, ever, ever been in the history of Bitcoin. Now, that's absolutely fantastic, but it comes with big red warning flags for me. Um, because we've seen these pumps. We've seen these pumps uh, back in 2017. And if we just look at what's happened to Bitcoin, okay, it, look, it crashed through these two barriers, uh, which is what I set myself. These, uh, I, I was thinking that we're going to get to 20,000, maybe 21,000 next year, but we got there this year. Uh, but look at what's happening with Bitcoin. You know, we've had this breakout. We, we had a bit of leveling off here. And then, again, pumping right up to the 20,000, breaking through that 20,000 barrier mark right there. Okay, breaking through it right there. But we still got this massive climb. We had this uh, this leveling off here where Bitcoin was just stabilizing itself just below the 20,000 mark. And then look what happened next. We start to see this climb. And again, if you'd like, we've, we've built a new... Uh, support level here around this mark here 21,000 so this could be the new support level but you've got to be careful with bitcoin you've got to be careful because we're now trading in areas we've never ever traded before and this is just crazy now what could happen to bitcoin well bitcoin could keep on pumping up to 40,000 50,000 but i think we're going to see a bit of a pullback i think we're going to see some resistance i'm not sure when that's going to be but we could see again 20,000 bitcoin this year okay it's not long to go it's the 17th of december but we could see bitcoin dropping down to 20,000 for me that would be fantastic because that would create a new support level that 20,000 so i'd like to see bitcoin drop back down to 20,000 hold there for a while and then start to climb again as we go into the new year because the the sky's the limit for bitcoin because you know the the the, the governments around the world are just printing money like it's going out of fashion it's all about supply and demand and if you keep printing and printing and printing the demand goes down because there's just too much supply the great thing with bitcoin it's like gold it's in limited supply now with bitcoin there's only ever going to be 21 million bitcoin that will ever exist okay so that's why bitcoin is such a an amazing asset it's an amazing store of wealth. So let's keep an eye on Bitcoin. I think we're in for a bumpy ride for the next uh, few weeks. But uh, I think next year is going to be amazing for all us Bitcoin holders. Congratulations to all you Bitcoin holders out there that stayed the faith. I've had so many of my friends say to me, it's a bubble, it's a scam, it's for money laundering, it's for drug dealers. And I don't understand because Bitcoin... Uh, the very first Bitcoin was in 2009, and as far as I'm aware, drug dealers, money laundering, and scams were around long before Bitcoin ever existed. Bitcoin's here to stay. Bitcoin is the future. I hope you're going to start buying some Bitcoin, or of course, the best way to get Bitcoin is to earn it. I earn it on a daily basis, and if you're interested in earning Bitcoin on a daily basis, leave me a comment below this video. Just mind-blowing what's happening now with Bitcoin. I'll see you in another video. You have a great day. Bye now.